everyone, and welcome to this Calculate Income Tax demonstration for California state taxes. Uh, if you have this document in front of you, you probably have my Calculate Income Tax resource. If you have this colorful one on the side here, you probably are doing the Calculate Net Pay one. Both of them can be found on my TPT store, phieducator.store. Um, just before we start, clarification, this is not tax advice. This is for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only. If you have any questions, please contact a CPA or an accountant. Um, who can give you better advice about your particular situation. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a salary of $100,000, not because it's a median salary, but because it's just a nice average one to work from and it gets um, us down through a bunch of the brackets. You are going to need to know your California state tax tables. So if you have the Calculate Net Income um, resource, you should have this in front of you already. If you don't, it's a quick Google away. So you can do, in Google, California state tax tables for 2023. Look for something that's like from the California state government or maybe from a site like NerdWallet where you know that they are updating the tax tables on a regular basis. But just so you can see, California has a progressive tax system like we do at the federal level. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine brackets. So these brackets are used then to tax people at a higher rate as they bring in more income. So that is what a progressive system does. It's not a flat tax system where everyone pays the same amount. It's a progressive system where the more you earn, the higher percentage you pay in tax. So I'm gonna fold this over so we can get started. Okay, so our $100,000 comes straight down. That is our salary for this. We have a state standard deduction. So we look and see, does California offer a state standard deduction? So California for a single person is 5363. If you're married, it goes up to double that amount. So I have 5363 as my California um, state standard deduction. Now you will see on future versions of this form that there will be another box in here. This is if you have a traditional IRA or 401k or 403b contribution. Um, essentially, at the federal level, if you contribute to these tax-deferred accounts, so that is you're not paying taxes on that money today, but you will pay it later when you take the money out, it is deductible on your federal income taxes, so it reduces the amount of tax you pay. It's also true in a lot of states. Now, not all. You do have to check ahead of time if it is allowed in your state or not, but as far as I can tell, in California, if you make a traditional IRA or 401k contribution, it also reduces your state income taxes owed. Other things that might do this might be like a 529 plan, so a college savings account. But just check with your state, um, do a Google and see if you can find out if it's deductible or not. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm not going to have any traditional um, deduction. So we subtract the two of those, 100,000 minus 5363, and we have $94,637 of taxable income. That comes straight down here. So 94 six, three, seven. Now we start looking at the brackets. So in the first bracket, it holds $10,099. And then for each one after that, we're gonna look at the max amount and then subtract what we've already taxed. So you'll, you'll be subtracting the higher number in both rows, essentially. So this number from this one. Some tables, when you look them up, will just tell you how much money it holds. A lot of tables will tell you from this dollar to this dollar, this to this one, this to this one, to kind of show that it's a progressive system. So our first one is an easy one, 10,099. Since our taxable income is higher than this, we're going to fill it up completely. We're gonna max out this bracket. So 1099 going in. The rate, is 1%, so to convert a percentage to a decimal, you divide by 100, 0 0.01, and then we multiply the two of those to see how much we owe. Now, if you're, if you're doing 1% of something, you're just doing two decimal places in, so it's gonna be $100.99. So then we've taxed this $10,099, so we can subtract that from our taxable income. We don't wanna pay taxes on it twice. So we got 94, 637 minus 108538. The second bracket 
holds 23,942. Remember, we're going to subtract what we've already taxed, the 10,099. So that's 13, 843. 84 is still much bigger than that, so we're going to put the full amount in. And this is a 2% tax rate, 0 0.02. So we've got 13. 843 times 0 0.02, so 276.86. Full amount comes down, 13.843, so we subtract that out, 84.538 minus 13.843, 70.695. So the third bracket holds 37,788 minus the 23,942 that we've already taxed. So 37,788 minus 23,942, so 13,846. So it's almost the same size as the previous one. And we're still much bigger than it, so we're going to fill this one up again. And the rate this time is 4%, so 0 0.04. So 13,846 times 0 0.04, 553.84. And we tax that, so let's bring it down. Okay, so we have 70,695 minus the 13,846 that we've taxed already. So I have 70,695 minus 13,846, 56,849. And the fourth bracket, so we've done the 4%, we're up to the 6% bracket, 52,000 minus the 37 that we've already taxed, 52,455 uh, minus 37,788. 14667. We're still bigger than that, so we're going to tax that full amount. And this time the rate is 6%, 0 0.06. So I got 14667 times 0 0.06, $880.02. So then $14,000. 667 has been taxed already. 56,849 minus 14,667. 42,182. And the fifth bracket, we are up to the 8% bracket, so 0 0.08. And 66,295 minus the 52 we've already taxed. 66. 295 minus 52,455, 13,840. You notice all these brackets are kind of the same size. They're between 10 and 15,000. The next one's going to be a lot bigger. Um, so we've got still more than that again. So 13,840 in times 0 0.08. So we get 1,107 and 20 cents. All right, so 13,840, already paid taxes on that. Twenty-eight three four two. All right, so now this one is the 9.3% bracket, so 0 0.093. And it's a, you can tell it's way larger, 338,000 is the max. And then from that 66,000 mark that we were at, 338, 639 minus 66,295 that we've already taxed. And this one can hold 272,344. Now, since California is one of the higher uh, income states, I would expect the majority of people who live in California to be maxing out in this bracket. So like you've made more than 66,000 plus the standard deduction, so like 70,000 
but less than 340,000. So like I would imagine most people are fitting in there somewhere. So I would expect like if you are living in California and doing your own taxes, you will get to this bracket and then you'll stop unless you're a super high income earner, which you'll go higher. Or if you're a lower income earner, you'll be in one of those earlier brackets. All right, so we have less than the bracket can hold. So we're gonna put the full amount in, 20,342. So 28,342 times 0 0.093. $265, and now we're going to do some rounding here. So we have 80 and then 0.6 cents. This is going to round up to the nearest cent, so we have 0.81. All right, we've taxed everything. There's nothing left, so nothing goes into the 7th, 8th, or ninth brackets. And we're just going to add up our total taxes owed. Um, so each of the individual brackets has taxes owed for each one. Add them together, it's your total state income tax. So we got 100.99 plus 276.86 plus 553.84 plus uh, 880.02 plus 1107.20 plus 2635.81. All right, so our total California state income tax owed is $5,554.72. All right, so that is our calculating income tax for the state of California. If you have any questions, please send them to me at thefyeducator at gmail.com. You can also leave a comment on this video on YouTube. Um, you can find this resource and the Calculate Net Pay resource on my TPT store. Go to phieducator.store and you'll be able to find those there. Thanks so much for stopping by.